Welcome back, everybody. We're back together here with another video, and it's a beautiful day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Walt Disney has now admitted defeat. They have lost the culture war. Well, man, what what a year 2023 has been. They have lost so much, so much money across the board. ESPN is in the dumps. Disney has laid off 7,000 people. And we said it many times, when you get woke, you will go broke. Kind of funny now that uh, Bob Iger has now admitted that, um, yeah, the culture wars is bad for business right here. Look at this on um, Fox Business here. Disney CEO Bob Iger vows to quiet the noise in culture wars. You don't say. Now, they've been pushing a whole bunch of propaganda in these movies and TV shows, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Um, what was that movie where? No, the TV show. Um, it's something family where they were talking about BLM activism and stuff. It was wow. Oh, proud family. Proud family. Yeah, they were pushing that. Of course, you know about the Star Wars stuff is in the trash. People aren't subscribing to Disney Plus. It's a disaster. Now, my question to you is: Will they actually quiet the noise, though? No. I I don't think I they mean, can. I think they will. I mean, Bob Iger said like he's tired of um, the culture war, but because um, he's lost it. Yeah, but um, the way he wants to quiet the noise is that he. It seems like he doesn't want anyone to talk about like the, you know, what happened in the Disney park. You know. Yeah, and uh, you know he was going to battle with uh, Ron DeSantis in Florida, and um, they lost that. I mean, it's it's a disaster. I mean, they're losing so much everywhere. They may end up selling ABC. And all of this, man, stings from they just got too big and fat and happy because for a while there, for years, they were buying up like everything. And now they're losing everything. And it's not helping that you actually engaging in politics, putting agendas in uh, movies and TV shows. But um. Let, let's look at this here. Walt Disney CEO Bob Iger is promising to lower the temperature after the company uh, stepped deep into the culture wars under his predecessor and angered many conservatives, according to an analyst note uh, from this week. Uh, Needham and company analyst Laura Martin wrote in a report released Wednesday that Iger told investors the day before that his primary goal is to, quote, quiet the noise because Culture wars are bad for business. You don't say. Of course, it's bad for business. This is not a surprise. I mean, people have tuned tuned out on the MCU. The MCU used to be king. Then what happened with the MCU? Mm. No wonder. The, well, yeah, their president. Um, uh, what's his name? Why, why am I forget? Kevin Feige. Came out and said, yeah, we're putting agendas in movies now. And from that. Nobody was actually going into the movie theaters anymore for the movies. Now, of course, you know, they killed off Captain America. And no more. Um, well, they didn't kill off Captain America. Um, they made him old. Now they race swapped him. Nobody was into that. Uh, Iron Man's dead. Uh, we talked about Disney Star Wars. You know, the force is female kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Alienating men. So they're done with the culture war. I'm I'm going to say no, but I do believe he's admitting defeat right here. And him going toe to toe Ron DeSantis, you know, because the state of Florida wants to um, protect kids from um, radical um, gender ideology. Disney, they were vocal about it. They were telling parents, no. No. And. I think he just said that. You know, culture war is bad for business, which is bad for business. He is not going to stop um, because, you know, um, there's one article I show you that um, Disney is trying to use the $60 billion to expand the theme park. Yeah. Yeah. The theme parks are failing too. Yeah, but still they're expanding. I, I don't know if it's against... Uh, Descenders or what? I'm not yeah, sure. I think that's what it is. But my question is, all right, you're going to get out the culture war business. Are you actually going to fire 
uh, the men dressing up in dresses, you know, greeting little girls at these dress shops. Or are you actually going to get rid of that stuff? I'll believe this when I see it. I'll believe when I see it. I'm not exactly sure because because you know what? There's going to be woke people in that company because this is what Disney has built. They want to be actively involved in culture wars, pushing propaganda. Are they actually going to change their agenda is the question. And Um, I don't think it's going to happen. No, they just don't want people to talk about it, you know. But, okay, if they're not going to talk about it, but yet they're still going to put the propaganda in their products. Yes, that's, I guess, that's what they want. And they're still going to get backlash. But they're going to have to take all that propaganda out of the product and also not involve themselves in politics. They've lost this thing. Look at this graph right here. This is Disney stock over the past year. This is probably why Bob Iger is saying we need to shut up. Look at where it was in February of 2023. $113.20. And look at this trend right here. All the way down to where it's around uh, 82.56 as of yesterday. And over five years, boy, look at look at this here. Uh, April of um, 2011, Mm -hmm. not 2011, but on 2021. A high of one hundred and ninety dollars and sixty cent. And now it's just falling off a cliff. It is just a disaster over there. Because they, they want to play politics. Play politics. See how that works out for you. It's not working out. So what's next? I mean, they got into this um, whole don't say gay agenda, mm-hmm. which is really a parental rights bill to protect um, parents, give them their rights. Because newsflash, Disney, the kids don't belong to you. They belong to the parents. And Disney was pretty vocal. No, your kids belong to us. And our woke agenda didn't work out well for him. So what's next? What is next, Bob Iger? I mean, you got so many problems with the entertainment section. Where are they actually making money? They're not making money anywhere. No, so what are they going to do with like the upcoming movie Snow White? Uh, that's a good question right there. Um. I really don't know. I mean, you got their um, that woke actress, uh, Rachel Zegler out there, you know, like as last year going out there trashing the original movie that people love. Nobody's going to watch this movie. And by the way, I just found out too, Captain Marvel. Um, is it Captain? Mar- no, Captain. No, it's the Marvels. That's what it is. You want to know the budget for that movie? What? It's going to bump two hundred and seventy million dollars. That is outrageous. They they need to get their budgets under control when it comes to these movies. Yeah, I think that also, um, you know, um, Disney is, you know, expanding the theme park. And if they want people to go, they need to get rid of, you know, well, just not having those, you know, men dressing like woman and you know in great children yeah i mean disney used to stand for traditional family values i mean it used to be the family that supported disney and now they've been trying to pander to people that don't have families uh radical far leftists who don't care about that stuff they don't watch the product that Mm -hmm. is why disney has declined because they've alienated the family now, they built their bed. Now they got to lay in it. And guess what? They're not sleeping very well right now. No. No. So this is why everything is just failing with them. I mean, I think that people don't have, I mean, some people don't have a problem with like men dressing like women. But when they greet children, that's another different story well i got i definitely got a problem with a man dressing up like a woman men ain't supposed to be doing that men are supposed to be men no but you don't like throw the bottle at them yeah like 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 single women single women that aren't married they may like that stuff but you know traditional married women they don't like that stuff 
No, but definitely men don't either. I'm not saying that they are like, you know, evil or something like that. They they part, don't they don't want their kids seeing it. Yeah, but they shouldn't do like in front of the kids. That's what I'm saying. But, I mean, but Disney's been pushing like drag queens and stuff too. Yeah, so um, they shouldn't do that in front of children. Yeah. I mean, if they want to, like, dress like women, I mean, at home, go ahead. Go, do, do whatever you want to do at home. You know, it ain't my business. I don't want to see you. <laughs> I don't want to see that. So, But, yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, Disney saying that, um, yep, we're done with the culture war. We have lost. They've admitted defeat. <laughs> um, this, is good. this is a good day right here. But I don't think it's going to stop. I believe it's going to go in a cycle. They'll get woke again because they're a woke company, even though they're losing money. But I'm pretty sure Bob Iger is probably thinking the investors, the investors, the investors want to return on their investment. And guess what? They're not getting a return on their investment. So, Well, don't you think that um, he really want to change, but someone is behind the culture the, war? The, or the woke agenda. That's the thing. Like Bob Iger, I truly don't believe he believes in any of this woke stuff, but he feels like he must pander to not alienate the woke people out there that scream. Because Bob, Iger, Bob Iger has been at Disney like forever. He wasn't doing this stuff, you know, 20 years ago. Okay. So this is nothing more than pandering. He doesn't believe in this stuff. He doesn't. So, but I think that's going to wrap it up, right? Mm-hmm. Let us know what you guys think about this. We appreciate everybody um, supporting us here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.